everyone, Steph here from thegoodred.com. We are here taking a look at the Flame FM4, a women's sleeping bag from Sea to Summit. This is a women's size regular bag, um, and I will put my specs in this review and then also the specs of the bag, but I felt like the women's regular fit me pretty well. It was just cozy enough and just uh, snug enough to keep me really warm. It was still roomy enough that I could move around and feel comfortable moving around. Uh, so this bag is rated for 15 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 10 degrees Celsius for their comfort level. Um, and then their lower limit is one degree Fahrenheit or negative 17 degrees Celsius. This bag weighs one pound 15.4 ounces so almost two pounds and then it comes with a compression sack that weighs 2.3 ounces so the insulation is an ultra dry down and it has an 850 plus loft filling so I mean once you pull it out of the bag and it fluffs up it is it is very fluffy as you can see I found it really really comfortable I really like the amount of loft that it had I love this hood it fits around nicely around your head and then and then it has a little bit of a um, neck cuff right here that also helps like just insulate around the neck there. The hood comes with a drawstring cord so you can cinch it down just to stay extra warm. And here's the zipper. The zippers come with a little bit of a flap over here. Nice leather pull that goes all the way down. It also has a two-way zipper. This can zip up as well. So I slept in this last night. Um, I spent two nights here. I used the Spark SP bag one night and then I used this one, the Flame FM, last night. And it was very similar degrees both nights. It was about, you know, low 20s to 20 degrees. And then, but then early morning, around three or four in the morning, it becomes very humid. There's like a weird freezing fog thing that happens. The temps feel like they drop quite a bit then just because of the humidity. And I was pretty darn comfortable in this. And just because I run super cold, I was actually, and just for the comfort level of it, I was pairing this with the Reactor Extreme Liner from Sea to Summit. And I liked that just because it added an extra layer in there of like comfort and a little bit more warmth. I like that I had a layer to kind of pull over my face because I don't like having my face exposed to the cold air. And instead of tucking down and breathing into the sleeping bag, creating condensation, I was able to just kind of pull that over my head and be much more comfortable that way. So I run super cold. Uh, normally when I'm sleeping outside, no matter like how cold it is, how warm it is what sleeping bag I have I'm wearing a down puffy like this and I am wearing you know <laughs> probably two layers of pants um thermals and then I normally boil some water to put it in the bottom of my bag in a water bottle uh just to keep my feet warm and so <laughs> I was a little nervous but I just went to sleep with normal layers so I just had normal sleeping layers on uh, no hot water bottle no uh no down puffy or anything and I stayed very comfortable up until about 4 a.m. when the humidity really started but my feet weren't freezing so normally my feet are cold most of the night and I just deal with it um, my feet were slightly uncomfortable so this bag definitely kept me warm and it kept me very comfortable in temps that were around 20 degrees Fahrenheit but also with a quite a high humidity kind of freezing fog situation going on found it super comfy I paired it with this sleeping pad which is an insulated sleeping pad with an R value of 3.5. This is the Etherlite XT from Sea to Summit. I think my only um, my only thing was it, I'm not extremely flat right here because the ground is frozen so I couldn't level it out but it was a little slippery and so it's not a it's a pretty slick material and on top of the sleeping pad it was a little slick so sometimes I got a little off centered and I could definitely feel the cold air coming up when I did that but overall it was a super comfortable system a very warm I felt like it kept me super warm it comes with a stuff sack with a stuffer in here the flame and the spark sleeping bags can actually be connected together if you have uh, zippers on the same side to create a double sleeping bag, which I think is pretty neat. The outer liner of the sleeping bag is a 10D nylon shell and the inside, the inside has a 7D nylon shell. And the outside has a DWR coating, which is always nice for down just to keep it dry, especially from like condensation. All right, so it packed away. It was kind of medium difficult to get in, but it did get in there. I've definitely had sleeping bags that were more difficult to pack away. I'm gonna put the compression on there. Right. Oh, that 
one's already cinched down there. So here's with the compression, and then we'll cinch her down, maybe. So it's about as small as we're gonna get it. So not too bad for a 15 degree bag. Comes in, this is how it came to me in this nice little storage bag that's ventilated, but we'll keep the loft and the insulation while you do store it. Comes with a stuff sack, with a compression stuff sack. So reference, I'll put my specs in here, but I'm about five, Three. And that looks like it might be just enough for me. Could pro maybe go with a short, but I'd say that that's enough space for it to be comfortable. Um, wow, already it's quite, has a lot of lock to it. So we'll get the back. Yeah, you get little loops along the sides, one here, one down at the bottom. One here, and one down at that bottom. Um, here's the inside here. Oh, that looks so comfy. It's really, really fluffy. I really like this hood on it because I always use the hoods, but this one seems to come up a little more uh, than some other sleeping bags I've had. So this is nice because I'm constantly pulling it over my face or like over my head. So this is quite nice. We do have a bungee. Just really closes the loop on you. I think this is going to be toasty tonight. There's, um, it is kind of a mummy bag shape, but there's enough base in the feet to kind of move around so you're not super constricted. And then there was also enough space in my shoulders. I think if it was any smaller, it might be too constricting. So this is a, honestly for my specs and my size, I feel like this is the perfect size for a bag to one, give me enough room to be comfortable and sleep in, but then two, uh, be kind of close enough to keep me warm and not create that extra air pocket that sometimes feels a little drafty. So this, if we pop this in here, will make the bag even a warmer rating. Put that in and we're ready to go. Another cool feature to this bag is that you can zip it together with other compatible bags from Sea to Summit. Okay, so we're gonna set these up. They zip together and I wanna see that happen. So uh, we're gonna zip the spark with the flame. We'll take it out of the compression sacks. Let me just point out, you know, uh, how compressed that is and how fluffy it's actually gonna get when it pops up. Let's see if we can do it. Also, look how fluffy they're getting. <laughs> There's one zipped up. And let's see if we can do this other one. Ooh, I did it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's neat, and I like that there's uh, you can have two temperature zones, which is really neat as well. So there's a look at the Flame FM4 women's sleeping bag from Sea to Summit.